Hi, welcome to another episode of Caleb's Trains. I'm Caleb. And today me and Caleb are going to show you how to fix the lights in your passenger cars. So you can take them from this to this. We're going to show you in a few simple steps how to take change from the old incandescent light bulbs to new LED light strips. Um, it's cheap, uh, fairly easy to do, um, not very time consuming. It's a pretty simple modification and uh, maybe a few people this can help out. Um, instead of buying light bulbs, it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier. Uh, so we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully you like this and uh, hopefully this helps a few people out. All right, we're back. Now today I'm just gonna, uh, working on this, it's an MTH Premier uh, Streamline passenger car. It's pretty common, um, uh, whether it's Lionel or MTH or K-Line or any of them, they're all pretty much uh, the same as far as uh, they use incandescent lights are from the 2000s. Uh, I mean, you could do post-war, it doesn't matter because you're just gonna be using a positive and a negative um, feed to it from your roller pickups. So on this particular car, you got six uh, screws, two on each end and then two in the middle. You take that, you pull it out and that's it. You have a connecting area here where there's two little springs uh, that's uh, right on it so there's actually no wiring to the top part from here so you could go ahead and move it out there's two more screws that connects these are the seating area the interior of the uh, passenger car itself so you remove them and uh, when you're working on your trains whether it's passenger cars whatever engines um, it's always a good idea to put down some kind of cloth or cushion or something to protect them so you're not scratching them um, that's my one suggestion I guess for that so you take the two screws out get your seats out it's no big deal put them off to the side and this is what you're left with in here at the top you have from your uh, spring connections here that uh, hook up or touch off onto the uh, base of the car, you have uh, two wires, you're gonna be a positive and your negative, and they're going to feed into here. And you're gonna have positive and negative uh, going to, and then these clip in. And like I said, they're kind of like Christmas tree lights. Um, they're incandescent, they're not very bright, and um, I believe these were originally 14 volt um, bulbs in these cars. Well, if you run uh, TMCC, Legacy, and I'm not really sure about uh, MTH's, uh, the DCS system, because I don't have it. Um, but TMCC and Legacy run off 18 volts. So they burn these uh, bulbs out pretty quick. So, and they're expensive. I'm sure if anybody's um, looked them, um, looked up uh, trying to uh, replace them yeah they're they're not cheap um, and as you can see in here this car's got one two three five uh, bulbs at probably you know a dollar to two dollars a piece somewhere in there um, adds up pretty quick especially like I said they're not originally made for um, TMCC or the legacy system so they burn out pretty pretty fast and that's the problem we're having on our layout um, it's all legacy equipped and we're going through these bulbs and I was looking for an alternative and I seen on YouTube another channel a guy had done this um, so I figured I'd try it myself to see there were a lot of questions um, about uh, resistors and stuff like that uh, the guy did not use any resistors or anything like that he went straight up the way it was saying no problems with it so I figured for as cheap as it was I was gonna give it a try and it's worked out really well for us so I'm gonna pass this along so you take your screws out of this like holding um, bracket 
just lift it out it comes out like so you can then go ahead unplug this and put this off to the side because you're not going to use it anymore you got your screws or whatever in there you're not going to reuse these little ones and there's like a little um, reflective strip in here um, it really isn't stuck in there very well pretty much comes right out of course I say that and this one didn't um, so you can leave it in there take it out whatever you want to do um, but I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in the next step. all right we're back so here I have laid out um, basically the items you're gonna need to do this uh, conversion um, first and foremost, the most important thing is this roll of LED, basically kind of like almost like a rope lighting or something, but um, these are all just little LED lights. And you can make this these strips any length that you want. You, could, you have to cut them where this small little scissor icon is. You cut them there, and then you'll have these two exposed copper strips one on each side one is positive and one is negative once you have your your length that you want you cut it and you're going to end up with something like this and then what i did was i soldered my positive and my negative it's got a little negative for your negative and then what i did this is just me because i like uh, hot gluing everything i had my hot glue gun and i just went over it to kind of seal them up, you know, so you're never going to have any uh, issues with uh, arcing or anything. So you have your strip, you have that. Well, when you take this piece out, which was mounted in the roof, you have a plug that goes in here. You're not going to use this anymore, so you put this aside. I have this one. This is my observation car on this set. And you end up with this plug. And these are your two little spring connectors that go to the frame of the cars. You got a positive and a negative side. Your positive is closest to the outside. It's this one. Your negative is closer to the inside. So what you do then is take, uh, I use this, and it's got a little thing, just whoop, cut it. You, know, you cut it as close as you want to the plug head itself because you're not going to reuse it. Put it off to the side and what you're going to end up with is just your two wires. Like I said, your closest one is to the outside is your positive. You can take something and mark it or whatever you want to do. Inside one negative. So once you have this cut off, you're going to then take your strip that you have your positive and negative soldered to and you're going to then solder it you're going to strip it each one of these positive to positive negative to negative once you do that you're going to end up with something like this okay so what i've done is i covered them up with electrical tape already but i have them running here i had them, i kept them separated and you're going to mount it to the roof of your car again i love using hot glue I don't know. I'm weird like that. So I put it on there, and it has these have 3M uh, adhesive, a strip. You just pull it off. They really don't stick that well. So what I found out was I just go ahead, put like a little strip of hot glue across just to mount it on there. It's never going to come loose. It's not going to fall down unless you want to take it off. So once you have that mounted in, you're going to put your car back together minus this contraption. You don't need it. So once you put it back together, you put it on the track, voila, you're going to have bright LED lighting for your cars. And um, I think they look a lot better this way. Hopefully they last longer. Um, i assuming with LEDs it will. There's nothing special here. There's no... Um, uh, special components or anything I'm running it right off track power and um, I haven't had a problem yet and uh, here in a minute I will show you the whole set all converted over and you can judge for yourself whether 
it's something you would be interested in or not. So I'll be right back. And here we are, the finished product. We uh, converted all of the Norfolk and Western passenger cars over to the uh, LED uh, lighting. Uh, come out really good. Uh, it's got like a like a nice cool blue uh, lighting effect to it. Uh, it. Looks really good in person. Um, not really sure how it's showing up on video but uh, it looks really good and um, they're uh, like I said it's uh, pretty easy um, and expensive and uh, the effect is really neat um, thought it come out good I figure I'd share it with everyone see what they thought maybe it's something uh, you'd like to do a little weekend project um, I think now that they are lit up so well, I think it's time to get some of the uh, O-Scale passengers and uh, fill them up uh, with some uh, people. I think it'd be really cool. And uh, I'm going to run it around the track here and uh, then dim the lights so you can see what it looks like uh, with a little darker uh, uh, rooms. So <laughs>